Sorry about the pan, it is dodgy. Uh, yuck. Alright, so we're here at this abandoned high school in the country. I'm here with Explorer 1 and it's gonna be awesome. So, um, yeah, let's check it out. Checking out this little shed. Wow, I feel like it's been destroyed a lot more since I was last year. A lot of random junk in here. I don't know if this is from the school or just illegally dumped. But, yeah, a bit of a shed situation. Hashtag K zone. There's a photo of the skeleton within the shed. That is very spooky. Spooky. This could have been a classroom or something at one point because it looked like a blackboard could have gone there. Why is it not moving as much? Ah! Worm be free! Oh, he's dead. I love this room because it's got um the old like derelict gymnastic poles and other sporting equipment which looks really awesome. There's like really old school desks, like 1960s school desks. That is so awesome. This school has been abandoned since 2010, like it closed down in 2009 and began its abandonment life at, um, in 2010. So yeah, it's a factoid for you. Someone's quit their homework and just thrown it out the window. Well, there isn't really many windows left, but y'all is whack. Someone must have thrown a bottle of paint out the art room window and there it remains. It's just a bit of an art room window shot. You can see all the stuff is still there. Hooray, state government. This um, would have been the bus bays for the students to get the bus and go home. Because, you know, we're in the country, so they would have had buses going absolutely everywhere. So, a bit of a remnant for you. A bit of a factoid for you. Um, two, well, three of my cousins used to go to this school before it was abandoned. So, there's a factoid from my family. It's years later since it's been abandoned. All the glass is still on the floor. Don't really care too much about safety. Oh, I love this room. I think this is, um, this is probably like the science equipment room, I'd say. And you can see it's not even destroyed at all in... Six years of abandonment, so that's why I love exploring country places. As you can see, Explorer 1 is exploring inside, so maybe it's our, maybe it's about time for us to go inside. I'm pretty sure this building here, originally for the school, was like the woodwork class. And then, after it was abandoned, like some grandpa peeps, wood enthusiasts, moved in and made it like a little woodwork workshop, like, like a men's shed kind of thing. And um, one of the reasons like this school hasn't been demolished already in almost six years is because there were people in the shed. And now they're all gone, so I'm assuming this place is facing its final days. I'm assuming this would have been the staff car park at one point. Huh, I don't know, I don't really have much of a clue. Alright, I'm gonna hop in that window. Alright, so I hopped in that window. So for some reason there's a stuffed animal here. We're in like some type of book storage room thing, I, I don't even know. One of the old uniforms here, one of the old jumpers. That is retro. Whoa, this place is amazing. My God, just look at this place. It's not even that destroyed, really. Compare this to in the city, this place would be roasted. This place is pretty intact and all the people of the town are like complaining, oh, it's so vandalized, it's so destroyed. It's not even that bad. Like, look at this room. If they just cleaned up the stuff, Probably got rid of all the mold on the roof. This could be an adequate school. It's not even that bad. All right, this is a massive building we've got to explore. So we're gonna work from this side down chronologically. All right, so let's start with this side. The last ever school bulletin, the 3rd of December, 2009. Amazing. Little storage room thing. Look at that old typewriter thing. That's awesome. There's another one that's in here. That is an old door. Look at that handle. That is not circa 1950s. Those are my feet. Feet, feet, feet. All right, I think we're coming into the either music or 
drama room. I don't really know. But as you can see, there's been some severe fire damage. Someone's like, I'm assuming probably maybe Viscom or Woodwork book here. Just abandoned. There's heaps of old folios here. My art teacher's like, you have to keep your folio for the rest of your life. And here these people's are just dumped. Someone literally shat on that folio. Um, in this little room here. This was the VCD media room. This would have been computers. As you can see, the roof is like decaying because there was a fire in here. Wait, Swara One, does the calculator still work? As you can see, as you can see, it still does. All right, so I don't know what's in here. Just a whole bunch of random stuff. Year 12 only. Don't worry, I am a year 12. I can come in here. Just a whole bunch of like folios for the VCD stuff. A camera slider? What is that? Pentax. Oh, that might even be a camera slider. That is so cool. Why would they just leave that? What a waste. Does anyone know what this thing is? That is weird. So many VCD folios. Just abandoned after all that work. What's in these cupboards? Just documents. Can confirm. Now it's in here. Just paints. Wow. What a waste. I love like the custom little wallpaper they did. All right, continuing on. Using the map, I'm pretty sure this used to be the careers room. You can see all the university booklets there. So now we're checking out the science room. I'd assume this would have been. This place is amazing. Some type of little remnant from the science room. It's, it's like silicon or something. Wow, after all these years, this cupboard is still locked up tight. That is amazing. The art. Hey, what are you doing? Is that still full? Yeah, I think so. Oh, don't, don't spray it, but... Oh, that was loud. I yeah, because... carbon dioxide. Yeah, that, that fire extinguisher is still full six years after abandonment. That just shows you how untouched yeah. this place is. We'll just do a quick whip around. The science equipment room. It's pretty awesome. It's good to see that in at least some rooms they took most things. So we just checked out that science room. Oh, this room's, this one would be a quickie. It's literally just an empty room. Probably offices for teachers or something. All right, now checking out the art room. This is awesome. As you can see, the tables are pretty ancient, but that's, that's probably why they left them here, because they're ancient. Littered throughout the entire room are just rolls and rolls of film just everywhere. I love the custom collaging on this cupboard. Speaking of the cupboard, what's in the cupboard? Nothing. Oh, just old photography remnants. It's probably where they would have hung up their, their prints or something. That's epic. What's in here? It's a dark room. My whole zoom out on my panel is being a complete dick to me, but anyway. This is the dark room for the photography. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, look, it's like the super, super, super dark room. What's in here? So now we're in the even darker, darker, dark room. That's epic. All right, let's barge out through. It's people's cameras that they made out of old um, juice boxes. That's epic. It's cool to have like an actual intact dark room. Like my school's dark room. Like we still have it, but it's like, it's just a storage room now. You can't actually do any photography in there. It's cool to see like an actual intact one. What, what is flash? Is that like a legit flash? This is an Urbanophile's wet dream, this school. Holy moly. All right, coming out of the dark room. I could spend hours in there, but I've got to keep going. This school had an entire room dedicated for to, to photography. My school doesn't even have a photography room. Check out this room. Heaps and heaps of just weird papers and stuff. Oops, filming in portrait by accident. Does anyone know what thingos they are? Because that is just odd. Well, to me it's odd because I don't do film photography. I shoot digital, Woo. Some type of teacher's little book room thing. Check out this little clipboard, this um, chalkboard thing. 
carve it in little collage pieces. So is the door here. The roof is like collapsing. This is still locked. This, this art room is still locked. Maybe an attempt to burn down the school at one point. Dictation. All right, checking out the art room that is just filled with stuff. I never actually got to check out a, a high school, an abandoned high school before, so that's pretty cool. This art room is just morbidly obese. It is so cool. I wonder if there's still paints in these cupboards. Oh, it's right, there's no paints. Heaps of textbooks on art. All the work just left behind. I don't know why these people just didn't take their work on the last day. Studio arts, oh yeah. Art. Look at this lino print. Lino print. Oh, look at that tree just coming in the window. All right, checking out the art supply room. Heaps of stuff. Bits of glass, bits of tiles. That's awesome. Someone had a complete folio meltdown right there. These things haunt me every day in art class. Classic. Another little art storage room. Not much left. I won't even get out the lighting panel, but just an empty room with a few shelves. I don't know what this is about. Maybe they wanted to get rid of it. I don't know what room this was, but probably just another art room or something. Maybe just a classroom. I don't really get it. It's probably like the textiles room just going by the giant vats of bits of fabric. Look at that. That's cool. I don't know which one's the bigger baby. Oh, 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 wait, manager. Okay. So this school closed down in 2009 and there is a remnant for you. Well, that was its last year of operation in 2009. All right, checking out this little room for the textiles dongler. Oh, wait, it just leads in to another artistic room. What type of art do you think this one was? Abandoned high school gone sexual. Ugh. What an amazing place. Love all these collages. Anyway, oh, look at this. Oh, look at those little the figures. Oh my god, look, this is another art storage room. This is like the most artistic school. I think it's just because yeah. the Yeah, I, I mean, we probably are, but still. This, this is crazy. My, my, art, my, art, my school only has like two art rooms. You can see this is where they stored all the different bits of paper. See, so there's white cartridge. Oh, there's still white cartridge. That's so cool. Ugh. That is some defunct um, cannage. That can still be used. I don't know why they didn't take some of this stuff. Look at those crayons stuff there. That's absolutely crazy. Does this video make you floppy? That's okay, because these guys are floppy too. All right, there's another little art room here, and I'm just going to do a quick... Yep, just a little storage room. Pretty awesome though. Wow, that one's awesome. This school closed down in 2009, so it surprises me that this guy's here. This guy's recent. Check out this ancient projector. That is so awesome. Another old bulletin board. It's pretty cool. The library and stuff should only take you like 30 seconds. That is awesome. Look how reclaimed by nature that is. All right, we'll just do a quick walk through this room. So this is another science chemical storage zone. As you can see, it's a little bit shrek, but still no graffiti. Leads on to another desolate science room. Science room. Absolutely mesmerizing. Check out this ancient like wood, um, yes. whiteboard. Oh yes, yeah, so you've got whiteboard and then underneath you've got chalkboard. <gasps> Look, that chalkboard is still intact from the writings of the students. I'm just assuming that, but that is cool. All right, continuing on. Another, holy moly! look at this thing. That's awesome, all right. Another science lab. That's cool. Oh, look at these Lego things. I've always wanted one of those, but I don't even know what they do. Oh, look. Look at all these Lego pieces. Why is this going to waste? They could have just given that to an op shop. What the hell? What's in here? Nothing. Bit of a casualty. That bird just like packed it in. Oh, it's like fatal bread there. Whoa, look at all these like scientific beakers and stuff. Where these chemicals would have gone, there was huge roller shutters. They came down, that's awesome. Squirt, 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 squirt. All right, checking this science room out. This place is beyond cool. That room just made a weird noise, but okay. Checking out this little computer lab here, connected to the science room, and you can see it's become a, a home for birds. There's bird poo absolutely everywhere. There's a nest, 
there's a nest up there. All right, so this is the like main teacher's little demonstration science room bench thingy of death. It's got like stirring rods. It's got, it's got um, heaps of random stuff. Buds and burners. Look at that sink situation, that is classic. There's a deceased bat here. All right, checking out this little science room. Just to, We'll just do a quick walk through. Oh, there's like a bird's nest in here. This is crazy. <laughs> there's pictures of naked people. What the hell? It's like some weird stuff. Look at that drawing. That is a solid drawing. Open night. Oh yeah. So we finished with that science room. Congratulations, Explorer One. You know what that means? We're on to the next building. That only took me an hour. Hooray. All right, coming out. Thank you for visiting A-Wing. All right, so now we're in the desolate courtyard of Doom. All right, let's go check it out. A little bit of a shelter shed for the kids. So now we're checking out the woodwork room. Just a big empty room, don't get too upset. Check out that old motor, that's pretty cool. Explorer One said this would be a weird place to hang yourself. He was too scared to say it in the video. Some junk here, that's pretty cool. Oh, is this the library Explorer One? Nope. No ye noins. No ye noins. So we're inside the year 12 common room. This would have been, I assume, a computer lab. This place is literally too cool for school. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Check this out, Remnant. Year 12, 2009. All the photos. All the photos of all the kids used to go here. Where are you now? Where are you now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Twilight. That is very appropriate for 2009. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that is questionable. <laughs> Only so in the country. Before. They're not your... I don't, I don't get it. A remnant of a pre-exam festooned two-minute noodles. This bit all rubbish is still here. Neatly placed. Hey! You shut up. Alright, so that's the 12 common room. Check out this ancient copier printer thingo. Wait, can we open this? Please shut the door. High security. Sorry, we just checked out the 12 common room. It comes out into this little extremely leaf littered. Um, What's this called? Courtyard. All right, continuing the journey. The daffodils are still going strong. That is inspiring. All right, so walking through the courtyard. This is actually a really old, but what? This light is still on. This light is still on. That is amazing. So that was the courtyard. Continuing on. Oh, this building is old. Look how old this building is. This building is uber old. This building has heritage listening. Okay, anyway, checking out the library. Oh my bloody god, look at this library. This this is amazing. Okay, I've officially just shot my pants. This school is I'm over it. This is too cool. Yes, look at this, look at this. There's still power. There's still power in this room. Yeah, this this there's still power here. At the school, the whole school, even in the A wing. The lights, the lights up there are. Yeah, I know, but like what about an A wing? The one where I took an hour. Is that, is that still got power? Clock. Yeah, the clock's moving. It's got from time, but the clock is still working six years after it's abandoned. It's because it's um it's a hard wiring clock, and this place still has power. That's amazing. I can't believe the power's still on, and the government is still paying that bill. What a waste. Radio antenna. What? There's power, and this is the this is the bell system. Oh my god, so you could you could set off the bells. Oh, does the bell system work? Do Les and Explorer 1 set it off? What happens next? Tune in next time to find out. Thanks for watching part one.
Make sure to check out part two for more epic rural X. Believe in yourself and smash that like button now! <laughs>